it's YouTube Wednesday. So this head form that we're going to make is one that uh, I'm going to use for several upcoming projects. And this is just a good thing for you guys to have if you make stuff, whether it's masks, costumes, uh, it's very useful for making burlap masks, all kinds of, of masks and heads for props. So uh, this is probably the cheapest and easiest way to get this done. And let's get started. I, I got these two containers from uh, Dollar Tree. And I'm actually going to combine them together to make uh, just simulated shoulders. Now, for me, uh, two of these together are, you know, as almost as wide as my shoulders, not quite. But um, I, I think that's not normal. So uh, I'm going to cut this and then tape it together. Cut this however you want. I am just using uh, real stout leather shears. And then I want to just check to make sure that one of these, yep, will slide uh, in and out of the other. There we go. And now I'm going to put plaster in this. So let's take off this end. And now I can make this shoulder section pretty much any size that I want by sliding. Uh, and I feel like that's good. This will also be a nice weighted base for the uh, head that we're going to build. The type of tape that you use to hold this together doesn't really matter long as you think it'll hold up to the moisture of plaster and not release just because it gets moist. All right, so my plaster is mixed a little thicker than normal, and I'm just gonna put it in there. Also, I'm gonna keep pushing it off the sides and away from the middle, so I can keep this fairly hollow. My plaster is dry. Right now it's still warm. That's perfectly fine. I want to demold this. It looks like it's coming off the sides pretty well. That is my base.
Next step, I got this head from Hobby Lobby. It's a mannequin head, but it's a, it's the larger male head. Uh, and it's one of the foam, you know, kind of wig heads. So I'm going to shorten the neck a little bit because plaster is going to lengthen the neck just a touch. And I'm going to plaster this onto this and coat this with plaster. To make the plaster bite better, I'm going to run some lines in this with a soldering iron to make sure the plaster has some bite to it and can mechanically bond to this head. While my soldering iron is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and round these shoulders a bit. I'm not trying to make this completely shoulder shaped. I really just want to uh, get it to be um, rounded so that I'm not going to cut myself or when I hit my hand against it or pick it up. So bottom is also important. I'm going to cut the neck down to uh, something I think is a little more natural. Okay, that feels better, especially it's going to sit on a pad a little bit of uh, plaster. I'm just going to run lines all over this with the soldering iron uh, at a little bit of an angle, which is going to help that plaster hold in. Uh, I'm going to pop some uh, round eye forms in this, so I hollowed those out with the soldering iron. Uh, I also uh, did my lines all over it. That's just for the plaster to have a little bit more to grab. So I'm going to plaster mount this to this. I got to mix up some plaster. That's next. So I have my head, I have my plaster mix, and now I'm just gonna start putting them together. Put a little pad down here. The plaster should stick to itself, no problem. Put a little bit of plaster in here, in the face. And this isn't, um, the head isn't big enough. So we have to pad it out anyway. So let's pat it out with a little bit of plaster, which is going to help us wick latex. I have to coat this whole thing. As the plaster gets a bit thicker, you can really start shaping it. That's one batch. It's coming along. Uh, it's securely mounted to the base and the head is getting thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up another batch, a little smaller in size. And uh, I have to build up the chin, build out the face just a little more. But I'm pretty happy with how it's coming. And uh, I think it'll be fine for making a lot of different things. The whole time that this is workable though, I want to be working this plaster. You reach a point where you can't do anything.
I'm just thickening this out where I think it needs to be thicker and bigger. Um, you might measure your head and check your measurements. We have made a plaster head. The proportions are not so crazy from a regular person's head. I'm a little bit large headed, but uh, you can see that uh, this guy will work for masks. I'm gonna do a little bit more shaping on this with just some sandpaper uh, to get it a little bit more closer to the shape that I want. So do that. plaster head form like this. Uh, you can detail it as much as you want. You can sand it smooth as much as you want. Measure your head. Measure some reference points. I got this one pretty close to mine. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. This will allow you to make so many other things. If you want to you know, make hats on it, uh, sculpt a latex mask on it, sculpt in clay and then mold, you can do that. Or you could uh, do a burlap mask right on top of this. And I'm going to do a tutorial here very soon on a Wednesday of making a burlap mask on top of a plaster head form. Do you have to do a weighted base like I did? No, you don't have to. But you can. Um, I would do some kind of a disc down there at the bottom uh, so that it's not top heavy and wants to fall over. Once you get clay on this or you're working on it, you want to have a stable base. Thanks for watching. Go make stuff. It's YouTube Wednesday. Ah.